Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison and I'm so excited to be sharing this pretty in pink makeup tutorial. This monochromatic pink look is ultra fun. I felt funky and flirty in this makeup look all day. If you haven't checked out my pastel pink hair tutorial yet, I will link it in the description box below. Every good makeup application begins with proper prep. After moisturizing my lips, I apply a complexion prep spray. I choose to apply two different facial primers in this video. The first primer is a pore filling and texture smoothing primer. The second primer used is Luminizing and Radiating. The Photo Focus Foundation by Wet n Wild is one of my favorites. This foundation has a high-end finish with a drugstore price tag. I'm using a liquid bronzer to contour my bone structure. I love the way that this product adds definition and color without texture. NARS Laguna Bronzer has always been ultra beautiful, but this particular finish is my favorite. This concealer remains one of the best on the market. Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Dark Circles Eraser adds amazing coverage and neutralizes discoloration. I love this product underneath the eyes. It looks smooth, seamless, and evens out skin tone without overdoing the coverage. I love using a damp beauty blender underneath the eyes. This blends out the product effortlessly and smoothly and a little hydration never hurt anybody. If you've watched my tutorials before, you know that my favorite way to set my under eye concealer is with a damp beauty sponge and a loose powder. This technique makes the under eyes look smooth, seamless, and crease free. Setting the foundation with a patting motion increases longevity. I love powdering with a purpose and I find that intentional techniques make the look much more elevated and smooth. I'm using a powder bronzer to set the liquid bronzer in place. My favorite tool for this step is an extra large fan brush. This style of brush makes the job quick and easy while distributing the color evenly. Don't forget to blend out any lines of demarcation on the neck or jawline. The next step is always one of my favorites. Blush. I love a feminine blush application. For this look, I apply a generous amount of blush because I wanted everything to be monochromatic and pink, pink, pink. I'm 
finishing off the complexion with a sheer finishing powder and a highlighting powder. I love to finish off my powder products with a damp beauty sponge to take away any dry, chalky texture. Moving on to the eyes, every quality eyeshadow look starts with an eyeshadow primer. An eyeshadow primer prevents your eyeshadows from creasing and fading. In today's tutorial, I'm using a neutralizing primer which has a tinted look to neutralize the eyelids. Pro tip, an extra little setting powder before eyeshadow ensures that no creasing of the primer will occur. This product has been one of my favorite eyebrow products of the year. This technique works great and I love the color, the consistency, and the longevity. For my eyebrow application, I begin by defining the tail. I define the arch and then I blend the color in towards the center of the face. I always brush through the color using a spoolie and then make sure the eyebrows are as even as possible. I'm starting the eyeshadow look with a warm transition shade. A neutral transition is essential for providing a blendable crease when you begin adding colors to the lid. My favorite tool for this is a large crease brush. A big fluffy brush like this really helps you to buff in the color. Using a darker shade, I'm adding definition to the outer corner of the lid. Creating shape and structure is beneficial before working with color. This technique creates sort of a map for following later on with more colors. It can be challenging to create shape and definition with colorful shadows. Now that I've added definition to the lids, I'm prepared to start incorporating the pink shadows. I'll be adding pink shades lightest to darkest to make it easier to blend. Following the structure from the previously used neutral shades, I'm adding a darker shade of pink to the outer corners of the lids. Focusing on shape and structure with the initial application of neutral eyeshadows allows you to focus on pigmentation and overall color payoff with the colorful application later on. Using a small pencil brush allows the color application to be intentional and detailed, applying the product exactly where you want it. For this monochromatic look, I'm applying the same pink shades used on the eyelid for the lower lash line. This makes the look extra pink and cohesive. My favorite way to apply liquid eyeliner is with little tiny brush strokes, allowing yourself to blink in between each stroke. I 
I apply a black liquid liner for a dark structured defined line, followed by a cold pencil to soften the edges. After curling the lashes, I apply several coats of a volumizing mascara. If you make any mascara mistakes, let the product dry completely and then use a dry Q-tip to clean up. After applying a pair of false eyelashes, I move on to the perfect pink pout. This lip combination features both a lip liner and a lip gloss. I will leave details in the description box below. So much fun in this flirty pink look and I hope you enjoyed it too. Don't forget to check out my pink hair tutorial where I temporarily transform my hair into this cotton candy pink color you see here. Thank you for watching and if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe.